book 106. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today, I'm going to tell you guys about the creator of worlds. That's right, the creator of worlds. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, A long, long time ago, there was a curious young boy who would always be going about searching out new and interesting things. Every day that he would search, he would always find something, but there were quite a few days that he found things which intrigued him more than others. One day, while this young boy was out searching, he saw, off in the distance, a glowing orange light that seemed to be getting bigger and bigger. At first, he stopped and stared, but then he began to move quite quickly toward the light. What is that? He wondered. Getting closer, he could see a man floating in the air. This man was hovering over five other men who were bound with heavy chains. For your crimes, the floating man said, I will make a world of torment for you. Then the floating man raised his hands as a huge storm materialized. The floating man bellowed out, I will create a world. The young boy stood amazed as a whole world formed in the midst of the storm and descended down to the earth. When it came in contact with the earth, everyone nearby, including the young boy, was transported into a new world which was created. The young boy looked up and found himself in a place of torment and pain. The air itself weighed more than the earth's air, and the act of breathing felt somewhat like drowning. There was no sun, but there was still light in this world. The light of souls on fire, suspended in the air in strategic locations as to defeat eternal darkness so that you could see your own suffering. The young boy collapsed to the ground and realized this would be his fate, to die in a world without the ones who loved him most. As he took his last breath of this heavy air, the young boy was picked up by the floating man and taken back to earth. On earth, the floating man revived him and told him that his curiosity had brought him too close. Awestruck, the young boy asked the floating man what his name was. The floating man floated up into the air and said, I am the creator of worlds. And so, the morning motivation of today is the creator of worlds. It is imperative that you realize that you yourself are a creator of worlds. And likewise, those around you are creators of worlds as well. Beware who you allow your curiosity to draw you close to. That person you are getting close to may be creating a world that you do not want to be in. So instead of being the victim in the world of someone else, strive to better your situation and create a world of your own. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope it's a lot of see it, family. I'm out. Good morning.